Cape Cow, Cape Cows. Cape Cows isn't where I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get Kakariko. Why does that tower look so close when the other one looks so far away? That's the one we want. This were I think were Hinox is here before. I will leave you bees alone. <laughs> Ruskas hit crickets, no Hylian rice. Much as I don't want to buy rice, you may have to. <laughs> oh, right, bramble everywhere. Means this is probably surrounded by the goblins. Maybe, maybe not. Splash, splash, hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, mister, did you travel here from the south? Oh, did you happen to pass by Lurlin Village? So the pirates aren't there anymore. What about the head of the village or the sun, sun and dun guy? Are they okay? <sighs> Sorry, I've been really worried about our village. I thought about climbing the Skyview Tower to get a look, but it's a bunch of spikes things around it. <sighs> but that's okay. If something happens, Dad will tell us. Just have to be a good kid and wait. Oh, you are a labor, laborer, laborer from the, for the Skyview Tower? I imagine that it, this rain makes your work rather difficult. Ah. My family used to live in Lurland Village, but a band of pirates ransacked the town. We escaped, barely, and fled here. I had just opened a restaurant in the village, but it was destroyed like everything else. I used to pride myself on serving food my customers had never tried before. <sighs> I'm not getting my hopes up, but I'd sure love to return to Lurland Village and run my restaurant like before.
Okay, so well that fixes that. It's not fixed that, however. Burn the bramble away with all this rain. And is there a way maybe I can cover the bramble so I can burn it? Maybe. That's in construction, the Spence report. 10 pieces of wood, 120 rupees. It was cold from the rain, so I used them to warm up. Nobody would call that a waste. Three tents, 300 rupees. We needed a few more tents to keep the luggage and firewood dry in the rain, so I got them. Okay. Now we shouldn't have a problem finding the camera. Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Am I wrong about that, Rika? Do we need to go further up? We need to go further up, don't we? Let's see, yeah, I bet it's...
swear I remember being out this way. We just make our way for the yellow marker. Rico right there. Oh, that's a Tano. God.
The shape of those rocks that looked like it was a dead body. Fire fruit. Be back, like, like.
Come on. my sage ability. Get 
This is where the one where we came in. Just looped around. So we found two wells. Get stuck, died. Maybe? Wasn't that Kakariko, not Patino? I'm going up now. <laughs> oh, look, shrine. Oh, let's do this. Zen. Scoop it out. Did drop it? Oh, it did when it hit up there.
Actually, don't even need one of you. Actually, I shouldn't have to grab it either. It should break off and come rolling down. Trying to literally scoop it out. Hey there, a fellow rain fan, are you? I love it outdoors in the rain. It makes land smell so rich and alive. It's rare to see travelers out there, out here. Unless, uh-oh. You haven't come to steal away my darling wife, have you? Huh, I'm just kidding you. No doubt you're here looking for the, for the farm, for the research lab. What farm? Oh, are you not on your way to Hatino pasture up ahead? I know most folks here are obsessed with Sese's brand fashion right now, but the best thing about this village is and always will be the bounty of its farmlands. Have a bottle of our freshly squeezed milk and you'll know what I mean. Mm. If you weren't headed to the farm, maybe you're looking for the research lab? Oh. Huh. So you weren't on your way to the research lab up on the hill? Just as well, I suppose. Lab's empty. Her and Robbie, researchers who used it, have gone off to Lookout Landing near Hyrule Castle. <laughs> Sorry, but nothing comes between the two of us. Not even you. I met my wife in Laurelin Village, to the south of here. She's the most beautiful woman in the Hatino Village. Maybe even all of Hyrule. The two of us have always guarded the windmill and ships. Except something bad is happening in her hometown, and she's been pretty broken up about it. She's at home now, resting. Oh. I picked this spot because you can see both the windmill and my house clearly from here. If anything happens, I can come running at once. So, are we done here? I don't want to take my eyes off the windmill or the house for too long. There's the windmill. Wait, there's a windmill. 
two windmills. Is that his house? Or that his house? I'm gonna guess that. I'm gonna go to his house real quick. Side. I'm sorry. I don't have it in me to be very welcome right now. I'll take care of it, of it later. Maybe by this afternoon. What's the matter? My hometown is Lurland Village, a small fishing village along the shore south e southeast from here. It suffers constant pirate attacks. I've heard it almost entirely destroyed. I did hear the village fled without any loss of life. The pirates have been driven off. But what? Do it is it if all those homes are destroyed i'm afraid that village is finished my poor father he was head of the lurlin village it was his whole life i worry a lot about how it, its loss is affecting him where i'm from we believe in welcoming everyone with a smile that's why i don't want anyone from home to see me so down So she's aware that the pirates have been driven off, but she's not happy, still not happy because the, the town is going to get the shoot is done because the houses are were destroyed. Okay. Makes sense. Get some rice and we can fix that. The humidity makes my joints ache something fierce. I might not seem busy to you, but taking care of Tuco's and that Tamana left me in my care is a big part of my day. I thought I'd help her out a bit now that her husband's gone to do his part over at Lookout Landing. Every day I take the Tuco's on a walk up the hill to the laboratory. I guess the blue flame is gone. I think I'll get up here to the lab, see what's going on up here, and then we're gonna call it a night. Cause uh, it's already one o'clock. Well, it's a quarter till then.
Need to get inside? Come find me at Lookout Landing near Hyrule Castle. Robbie. That's... Seriously? This is actually a very big letdown. There's nothing here. Oh. I grew frustrated with being treated like a child. So I re resumed my age booster experimentation in earnest. The anti-aging device reversed more than 100 years in an instant. So I reflected on that result and moderated the outcome. When I cautiously exposed myself to its rays, I returned to my 20-year-old form, just as I had hoped. Success! I'm so happy that I can once again reach high places without using a jetpack. My 20-year-old body doesn't suffer from sleepless nights researching. And what's more, my skin is perfect. No complaints. Three volumes of my diary are hidden away now. I'll place the last one at the northeastern edge of Akala. The lab there is perfect for hiding things. It's such a remote location. I'm sure no one will ever come across it. take me a little bit to get all the way up there so I am gonna call it there maybe not This probably would have taken a minute to climb. There's something going on. I don't know what all that is. Is that ice? statue no no well 
ice is going to be a pain. Prayers, hear my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue, which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to, the, to that land and bring tidings to me of the Mother Goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. Okay. Wasn't looking for another quest. Might be able to get up there, I don't know. Trying to get up here. Trying to get to this Skyview Tower for a little minute. I still haven't, have I? In fact, Rico's still up again. What the crap? Hey.
<laughs> cool place to land. Or 